Hi and welcome back. In this video segment, we will be completing the cutting board possum box woodworking kit. And to complete it, we will be applying a oil um, and an oil finish to the cutting board. And I've attached some pictures of the uh, oil that we, we will be using. And that oil came in the small container that was part of your woodworking kit. I will actually be using oil out of the big container here. And I'm going to apply the oil simply with a paper towel. And I'm probably going to apply three to four coats of oil over time. And then of course we'll have um, care instructions for your cutting board as you utilize the cutting board over time. I'm going to start by oiling the bottom and the edges and sides of the cutting board, and I will finish up by oiling the top. So let's get started. So here we are, I have put some oil on the piece of paper towel. I'm just gonna go around Thoroughly wipe the oil into the surface of the wood. It's best to wipe with the grain, but sometimes you will have to go across the grain. And with this oil, it's a penetrating oil. Um, it will be okay if you go across the grain. But in general, it's best to make a good habit of applying any finish of just going with the grain in your application. Here we are putting oil on the edge of the cutting board. And the end of the cutting board. I would like to point out when we oil it, we can now see some of the saw marks that I did not get out of my uh, out of the end grain whenever I sanded. You can see a couple there in that mahogany. There's some here in the maple. And those are those cross marks from our cross cutting. See a few little rub marks there. You may at this point, if you discover that, want to go back and sand the end of your cutting board. Um, going to just leave mine as is. And now I will oil the face. And you can see some oil is already on the face from sanding or uh, oiling the edges. I'm just going to go in a systematic manner. And again, you may discover some places on the surface of your cutting board that need to be sanded more and that's fine you can sand it when this oil dries a little bit um, but it's okay to have to go back and sand a little bit one more time and then I'm going to wipe with the grain for my last pass. There we are. Finishing your cutting board will require three to four coats of the oil. You will notice whenever the oil stops absorbing into the wood that means that the pores on the surface have accepted enough oil. You can continue to do that until the wood rejects any oil that you try to apply. And then you know that you have at least the surface area saturated with mineral oil. 
We want mineral oil to be in the pores of the wood. We want to keep moisture and everything else out of the pores of the wood. And so that will be the application. It's been a pleasure to do this project with you, and I hope you thoroughly enjoy your cutting board. And until next time, happy woodworking.